is debated in many cosplay communities about whether buying a cosplay is considered cheating as a cosplayer. So let's dive in and discuss the truth about buying versus making your cosplay. Hi, Tracy here from Astrocyte Cosplay. It can be very intimidating when you first get into cosplay and to add to that, you can be made to feel that you're not a real cosplayer if you haven't made your own cosplay. One of the things that held us back for many years was that we didn't feel like we had the skills or the tools to actually make those amazing cosplays we kept seeing out there. This actually stopped us getting into cosplay for many years. Once we bought Scott's Spider-Man suit and our Ant-Man and the Wasp cosplays, we realized that it didn't matter. You will learn those skills over time if you want to start making your own cosplays, and that's only if you actually want to do that. But the main thing is that you started. Time also plays a huge factor in making your own cosplays. We all have jobs, families, or other hobbies that limit the amount of time that we can spend crafting. And those big bills are definitely time consuming. It can be much, much quicker to buy a pre-made cosplay if you are limited for time. Another aspect could be that you just don't enjoy crafting, but you love dressing up as your favorite character and spending time with your friends. This is perfectly acceptable. Cosplay is about having fun. We just recently went to Central Coast Comic Con with a group of friends as Mario Kart characters. Now I purchased the Mario and the Donkey Kong as I didn't have time to make these. And we got the most amazing reception, getting stopped constantly for photos. And even though they were bought, we had the most amazing fun day. As a comparison, let's have a look at this Ant-Man bought helmet compared to this Wasp foam helmet that I made. The detail and the cleanliness of the Ant-Man helmet is amazing. And it even came with LEDs just to give it that little bit extra. Now this didn't take us any time as we purchased online and it was delivered to our door. In comparison, this wasp helmet was made by me out of foam. It was my very first foam helmet that I made. So there was definitely a lot of learning about sanding, cutting, gluing, and all that sort of stuff. And this was even after purchasing a template. So you get the idea of the amount of time that it took to make this helmet. And it's not the cleanest being my first build and that could definitely get improved over time with rough edges and glue marks and that sort of thing showing. But don't get me wrong, like I look at this and think, wow, I made that. Like, so you are very impressed with things that you actually make yourself. In terms of cost, the Airman helmet would have definitely been way more expensive than the foam build. We personally do a mix of buying and making our cosplays as we learn different skills such as sewing along the way. One thing to note is to never take credit for something that you personally haven't actually made as this is what tends to upset a lot of other cosplayers as you're taking credit for somebody else's work. So. Let me know in the comments below, do you prefer to make or buy your own cosplay? So now you decide. If you want to buy your own cosplays, check out this playlist for our store-bought cosplay reviews. If you want to make your own cosplay, check out this video that'll go through beginner tools for making your own foam cosplay props and armor.